Hey guys, welcome to Technozar. This is Roy Sharma. We are going to analyze our QS1 based upon digital electronics. There are total of uh, total number of 15 questions uh, and total marks is 60 marks. Okay, and those who want to attempt quiz, you have uh, you have to first join our Telegram group where that is it's Ota for EC. Okay, so la uh, let's start the video. Question number one. Question number one is a particular number system having base B is given as root. 41 base b is equal to 5 base 10 okay to remove the square to to remove the square root we first have to square both sides on squaring both sides we will have 41 base is equal to 5 square 25 okay base 10 then 4 into b raised to power 1 plus 1 into b raised to power 0 is equal to 2 into 10 raised to power 2 plus 5 into 10 raised to power 0 sorry 10 to power 1 then this will come out to be 4b plus 1 is equal to 25 then 4b is equal to 25 minus 1 which equal to 24 b is equal to 24 upon 4 that is 6 answer okay this is how we, we will do our first question okay now Good. Now we will go to the second question. Second question is XS3 code is also known as XS3 code is also known as self complementary code or unweighted code. Remember this unweighted code. Question number three. Question number three is find the decimal equivalent of the hexadecimal number 2A0F. 2A0F. Okay. Find. 16 raised to power 3 plus a, a a can be written as 10 okay 10 into 16 square plus 0 into 16 power 1 plus f f is written as, f f can be written as 15 into 16 raised to power 0 now on calculating this 2 into 16 power 3 is given as 8192 8192 plus 10 into 16 square is 2560 2560 plus 0 plus 15 on adding these we will get 10767 this is the decimal equivalent of 2a0f number okay option d is the correct answer next question this is the Venn diagram we have to find the boolean ex expression of the shaded area okay i am marking shaded area as 1 2 3 for shaded area 1, we can write, we don't have C, okay, then we can write A, B, C bar. In 2, we have, we have all the 3, A, B, C. In 3rd, we have C, but don't have A and B, okay, then A bar, B bar, C, okay. Now, on adding these 3 terms, A, B, C, plus a bar b bar c by taking common from the first two terms c bar plus c plus a b c a bar b bar c as it is c plus c bar is 1 therefore answer will be a b plus a bar b bar c okay this will this will be the correct answer for question number 4 question number 5 for a three variable function given that pi m pi m are the maximum terms which are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 you, here all the terms are covered already and we have to find summation of m that is min terms min terms will be 0 option c is the correct answer question number 6 question number 6 this is our nor gate this is our end gate here we are giving a as input here we are giving a plus a bar as input now nor gate is and added operation a plus a bar is 1 okay now and is and gate is product operation a into 1 into b into c is a b c then y equal to a b c is the product question number 6 a b c is the correct answer question number 7 what can be the maximum clock frequency of a 10 bit ripple counter which will not cause a count to skip considering 10 nanosecond is the propagation delay tpd is 10 nanosecond 
and ripple counter 10 bit 10 bit ripple counter okay and we have to find the clock clock frequency clock frequency is given by 1 upon n into tpd that is the propagation delay n is the number of bits 1 upon n is 10 into propagation delay is 10 nanosecond that is 10 to 10 to the power minus 9 this can also be written as 10 to the power 9 upon 10 to the power square this is 10 to the power 7 this can also be written as 10 megahertz that is 10 into 10 to the power 6 and option a is the correct answer this is our lpsc previous year paper question 2020 okay now next question y is equal to b xor b b xor b up to n times okay now we are taking first for even terms for even terms b xor b xor b xor b so on up to even n is even okay then b xor b will be zero take it second for odd for odd b xor b b xor b on calculating this we will get b okay then if if we see our option a zero when n is equal to even okay when n equal to even then option will be zero then option a is the correct answer none uh, any other option will not match this question okay question number nine if we are giving a as input here b as input here as it is nand gate then it will be a b bar similarly bc bar this is a not gate okay then a is a bar and c is c bar a b bar plus b c bar as this is a nor gate sorry or gate a b plus b c bar and all will be taken as sum here as there is a nor gate connected at the output plus c bar okay how can we, how we can write this equation applying d morgan here this can be a bar plus b bar b bar plus c bar plus c bar okay a bar plus a bar is a bar b bar plus b bar is b bar plus c bar plus c bar is c bar then a bar plus b bar plus c bar is the correct answer question number 10 how many nand gates are used to realize xor gate okay for these type of equation i am making a table for all the gates where to realize them by NAND or NOR gates, okay? NOT, AND, OR, XOR, XNOR, okay? This is NAND, this is NOR. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 3, 2, 5, 4. So then what is the question? How many NAND gates are used to realize XOR gate? NAND gate, XOR gate. Then four NAND gates will be used to realize an XOR gate. Then option C is the correct answer. Therefore, for these type of question, please remember this table. Okay. Next question. Next question. I have seen maximum students have done incorrect. So we have to see this question. Okay. Uh, A1 bar A2 bar plus a1 bar a2 bar i0 plus a1 bar a2 i1 plus a1 a2 bar i2 i0 i1 i2 i3 and this is a1 a2 i3 multiply by the animal input okay we can see a1 is equal to y bar from the circuit a2 is equal to z and E is equal to this is the main thing see this this is a not gate connected here this is a bubble then E is equal to Z bar okay now putting our values here we will get Y Z bar X for the first term second Y Z X third Y bar Z bar Y fourth Y bar Z Y bar multiplied by the enable input that is z bar okay this will be cancelled as y bar into y is zero okay and this is y z bar x plus y z x plus y bar z bar uh, sorry z y bar and this can also be written as y bar z 
multiplied by the input z bar y into z bar x is x y x y z bar on multiplying this by this y z x into z bar is 0 and y bar z into z bar is 0 then x y z bar is the correct answer option a is the correct answer next question Q A Q B Q C was 110 then the minimum number of clock pulse required to Q A Q B Q C as 011 what will what is the result we have to find the number of clock pulse we will require to have this result okay let's write this Q A Q B Q C from this Q A is equal to starting ke liye, from this Q A is equal to 1 Q B is equal to 1 and Q C is equal to 0 okay on applying the first clock pulse on on first clock pulse 1 1 xor is 0 as q and qb is the input for the xor gate 0 and by shifting the uh, shifting the values of the d flip flop 0 0 1 okay then 0 1 xor is 1 shifting this 0 0 then 0 0 xor is 0 shifting this 0 1 0 1 0 xor is 1 shifting this 0 1 Okay, and 0, 1, XOR is 1, shifting this 1, 1, 0. Second clock pulse, third clock pulse, fourth clock pulse, fifth clock pulse. On fifth clock pulse, we are getting as 0, 1, 1, QA, QB, QC. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question, question number 13. This CMOS realization, this, sorry, this, this MOSFET realization is for NAND gate okay question number 14 we have to do we have to find the fan out fan out is given by i o h upon i a h or i o l upon i i l we can use any formula for calculating the fan out that is 400 micro ampere upon 40 micro ampere or 16 milliampere upon 1.6 milliampere on calculating this this will also come out to be 10 on calculating this this will also come out to be 10 then option a is the correct answer last question for our quiz analysis a lot this is the most important question a logic family has threshold voltage as reference we, uh, reference voltage or threshold voltage is 2 volt minimum guaranteed output that is voh is equal to 4 volt VIH is equal to 3 volt, VOL is equal to 1 volt, and VII, VIL is equal to 1.5 volt. For calculating noise margin, we have two formulas. For H and MH, this is given as VOH minus VIH, and NML, we have VOL minus VIL. Okay, VOH is 4 volt, VIH is 3 volt, that is 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. VOL is 1 volt minus VIL is 1 point. Sorry, this is VIL minus VOL, okay. 1, 1 1.5 minus 1, that is equal to 0.5. Now, for both the noise margin, we have different, different answer. 2 select the correct noise margin we will select the minimum of, of both them okay minimum of these minimum of nmh comma nml that is minimum on some rs kinder minimum is 0 0.5 therefore 0 0.5 is the noise margin and 0 0.5 is the correct answer okay this is the quiz analysis for our quiz one based upon digital electronics we have taken around 15 questions and each question is each question has a lot of varieties okay and uh, and those who have not joined the telegram group please join there fast so that you can attend the quiz and please i request everybody of you uh, please give the quiz seriously so that it can revise your concepts okay so now we will meet in the next video all the best